Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie. I'm a graphic designer and on this channel I use Adobe Illustrator to create illustrations, 3D simulations, and branding. Let's get started with today's tutorial. I'm going to create a uh, swirl. Swirl. So let's uh, start with the ellipse tool because we're going to start with a circle which is going to be our base shape which we're going to use as a guideline. So click and drag while holding shift to create a circle. Okay, so this is uh, just a base that we can use as a reference. So now I'm going to change the fill to none and just leave the stroke to black. Now I'm going to make a dragged copy by holding Alt while dragging. Now I'm going to change the stroke color of this second circle to a pink just so we can uh, see the difference. Now I'm going to scale it down so you can see that the left side of this small circle is in correspondence of the center of the big circle. And then I'm going to make the right side that ends on the um, circle outline. Okay, so once this is scaled down and it fits, let's say, let's say the small circle diameter corresponds to the big circle's radius. Now, while you're using the scissor tool, I'm gonna click on the two anchor points of the small circle left and right. So I'm gonna cut it and delete the bottom part of the circle. So now we have this top part of the circle, which is now an art. I'm gonna select it and change the stroke width to make it thicker. And then I'm gonna change the stroke style to this um, uh, pointy end here. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna go back here to stroke width, change it to 10. Okay, so now I'm going to select this art, go to the rotate tool, click on it, click on the center of the big circle while holding alt. So this becomes the rotation point and opens the rotate panel. So I'm going to change the angle to 24, click on preview to see if the rotation angle is okay, and if satisfied, clip click on copy. Then I'm going to keep pressing control D to repeat my last move, which is the copy, the rotated copy, until the lines go all around the circle. And here is our swirl. Like the bottom circle that I created in the beginning, change the fill to white and the stroke to none. Then I'm going to select all these lines that create the swirl, go to object, expand appearance, uh, convert them to shapes and now the fill color is uh, pink and here is our swirl we can change the background color here the circle that is in the background to black or whatever other color we want I don't like the black so I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo anyways you can change the color of the circle which is in the background which is now white and can change. And to select, to change the uh, pink color that forms the swirl lines, all you have to do is select them and change the color, the fill color. I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna hold shift and click on the yellow circle to deselect. So all I have left is the uh, pink lines. And I'm gonna go here to the fill color change it to black. And here is our swirl. As simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, don't miss out on any of my future videos, and if you have any suggestions, just let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.